Hello everyone and welcome back to another nature vlog and today we are out in my garden! This is actually back in late July when my heirloom pear tomatoes finally started ripening. I was so worried for these little guys, it gets very cold in the mountains and tomato plants often need a little bit of heat so that they can get their tomatoes to ripen. Oh look at the little ones! Yes, these are heirloom yellow pear tomatoes, and they are my favorite kind of tomato. I'm not a big red tomato fan or big tomato fan, but I love cherry tomatoes, and I love yellow cherry tomatoes because they're sweet rather than tart. And these are just really fun to grow because people never recognize them, and that's because they're an heirloom variety. That means that they're not the most common, they're not mainstream. Uh, I've seen a few of them in supermarkets lately though, so that's pretty exciting. A lot of what we grow in our agriculture tends to be just a few monocrops, which means one type of crop. And heirlooms are crop varieties and strains and subspecies that have grown from uh, like one species of plant, like tomatoes, and now there's tons and tons of varieties of those, even though we tend to only grow a few in our farms. But yes, these are mine! Look at them! Aren't they so cute? They get their name because they're shaped like a little teardrop pear, and they are yellow in shape, and they are very sweet so like I said they're my favorite kind of tomato to eat and there is something so amazingly relaxing and fun to be able to go through and see which ones are ripe this morning and to just gently give them a little tug and they pop right off the vine that's what I love about gardening it's very rewarding uh, it's very you have to be very patient when you garden because you have to watch as things grow day by day. These tomatoes are the fruits of over four months of effort. Not a lot of effort though because it's not that hard to grow these. All you really need to do is start the seeds in mid to late March and then you transfer them into pots as they get bigger and just remember to water them and prune them and then you get this! This delicious little snack that you can just pop into your mouth or throw into some soup and it's delicious and wonderful. And it's so much fun just to go through every morning. You feel a real connection with your food when you have to dig through and be like, hmm, is this one ready? What about this one? No, this one's still a little green. I better leave it on the vine for another day. So I love that aspect of gardening too. But look at my haul! Isn't it just delicious looking? I am so happy with these tomatoes and I love eating them. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of my garden. Since I live in an apartment, it's constricted to just a few pots I can keep out on my porch, but maybe one day you guys will be able to see the vast glory of Siri's wonderful organic food garden. I have big dreams, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying any gardens you may have too, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!